Democratic candidate for U.S. Congress, Mac D'Alessandro, was in town on Tuesday as part of his 21 in 21 grassroots outreach effort. I believe as a candidate for United States Congress here in the 9th Congressional District, it is very important uh, for me to get out into all of the communities that comprise this district. Uh, there are 21 cities and towns uh, in the 9th Congressional District, and uh, starting yesterday, actually, we're going out into all 21 communities. We've been out in several of the communities already, uh, including Bridgewater, uh, but we really want to make this kind of concerted effort over the next 21 days to get into all 21 cities and towns, really to have a conversation with the voters in these communities, to find out what is of concern to them. During his time in Bridgewater, the candidate met one local resident who echoed the concerns of many in regards to unemployment in the state of recession. And what we're going to do to end this really kind of protracted re recession we seem to be finding ourselves in, um, as you know, uh, unemployment benefits have been running out, starting to run out uh, for folks uh, that have been uh, victims of this terrible recession. This is very timely because, as many of your viewers may know, uh, Congress right now uh, has the opportunity to pass um, an extension of those benefits. And uh, Senator Brown and other members of Congress um, have actually held those, uh, the extension of those benefits up. Uh, I disagree strongly with that. Um, most of these folks are folks that are looking very hard uh, for new jobs. There just aren't a lot of jobs out there right now. Um, so those unemployment benefits could mean the difference between putting food on the table and not. However, despite the concerns he has been hearing, Max says communities are displaying plenty of spirit in working towards the future of the economy. That is really uh, uh, such a heartening thing to see um, when people, even when they're struggling, uh, f see the way ahead and are, are fighting to, to find that way ahead. As they look to the road ahead, residents are finding themselves making hard choices when helping to fund their communities. I think the passage of the override here in Bridgewater was a sign of just how much distress and strain many communities are under uh, to meet basic needs. Um, without this override, according to the Independent, uh, half the police department would have been laid off more than half of the fire department, the senior center, the rec center, uh, the library, all would have been shuttered had the town uh, and its voters not passed this override. Uh, it's a terrible choice to have to make, um, but it's not just the town's responsibility. Uh, again, right now, the United States Congress has been debating seemingly endlessly uh, the provision of federal funds uh, to states. Uh, Massachusetts uh, is waiting for $600 million in federal funds, a lot of which could free up funds that can get into communities just like Bridgewater. But Congress has to act in order to do that, and they're not doing a strong enough job of doing that right now. Prior to deciding to run for Congress, Mr. D'Alessandro spent most of his life advocating for working families from legal services to labor unions. We've taken on some very powerful interests. Uh, in the jobs I've had, whether they're Wall Street banks um, or private equity firms. Um, that experience, I think, really does prepare me to go to Washington, take on some of those very same interests uh, on behalf of our families and our communities. It's not just about getting down there and pressing a voting button. Uh, you've got to get down there and fight like heck to make sure that your constituents, your state, uh, get the resources that are needed, especially when times are so tough as they are now. You can find out more about Mr. D'Alessandro, his campaign, and some of the distinctions between himself and the other candidates at MacForCongress2010.com. Any candidates who may be looking to introduce themselves to the town are welcome to appear on our program up until the election this fall. To make an appointment, please contact Alicia Fortin at 508 six nine seven one eight three three